Hey, I'm Ben. I'm Cameron. Sam. And I'm Daniel. And we're Glass Towers, and we're on the A Review. Oh, it's amazing. It's it's surreal, because growing up, you'd listen to so many of your favorite bands, like On Triple J being played, and and even doing things just like a version, and um, we've got Triple J feature album uh, next week. Just actually having those things and, and doing those kind of things, it's so surreal. You never think you're going to be able to like, do those kind of things, and it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, most of the songs are written when we were like 17, 16, um, back in Byron Bay. Um, in terms of recording the record, we recorded with Jean-Paul Fong, who produ uh, produced Last Dinosaur's record. Um, and so basically went up to his farm in the Central Coast, did some pre-pro there, um, and just nodded out the songs, like played them to him live, and he like came back to us and it's like structure changes, those kind of things. Like originally House in our latest single was like six minutes long, something crazy mm -hmm. like that, and he, he uh, basically structured it down to like an actual like compact four minute song and so yeah things like that and it took us about a year recording on and off because uh certain like things in the studio i become a bit of a perfectionist of an ocd person and so i like redid the vocals in like certain songs playing heaps of times and yeah so it took us about a year to record and we're finally releasing it yeah you proud of it very proud very very proud it's yeah we're really proud of it it's like our, our baby yeah Oh, there's a couple. I think most of them have been playing live for the last couple of years, but there's a couple, uh, I think You're Better. We've never played, we've been playing You're Better recently, but um, the majority of people wouldn't have heard that. And then the album close, A Foreign Time, it's a kind of piano-y kind of song. We're going to be start playing that live as well, which we're really excited about. So there's a couple like that. And um, but yeah, most of the songs have been played live. Yeah, we've become a lot tighter as a band, I think, over the last couple of years. When we first started playing live, we were pretty scrappy. I guess, because we're in high school. But um, yeah, basically being on the road has made us a lot tighter. And I think as a band, we're a lot tighter as well. And yeah, I think that, that reciprocated into the album process, the recording mm. process. That was part of the reason why we did um, the second EP that we released, Color and Jungle. There was certain songs such as Billy and We All Missed All that we really loved, but we, they just didn't really fit in terms of the context on the record. So we kind of released that EP as a way of releasing those tracks. We love those tracks. Um, but not really. I mean, the 11 tracks that are on the album have been written for a long time and we knew like that was the album we wanted to write that was the album like, the songs we wanted to release so yeah it wasn't really a matter of like picking songs or not picking songs because we pretty much had the clear idea of what we wanted the album to be like yeah we went to uh, the uk played the great escape um and played some shows in london as well um we also went to japan and made our record label for the first time and played a showcase there um yeah anything to say about the overseas trip uh, it was really fun <laughs> it was really fun hung out with uh we did a tour with the Kooks and hung out with those boys, so that was fun. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a good time. Yeah. In Japan? Uh, in the UK, in London. Yeah. In both. I enjoyed Japan, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We went to like karaoke bars where you could like have like all you can drink. So you'd pay like, how much was it? Like... Three dollars or something. Oh, seven no, dollars. It was like, it was like seven dollars and so you'd like pay seven dollars and you can just drink all you can drink and yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah, good times like that. Mm. Yeah. That just sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, anyway. And you'll be heading back there soon and you'll also be releasing the record up there. Yeah, we're going to be releasing our album in Japan through um, This Time Records. And we're going to be releasing the album in the UK and America as well later in the year. Um, I don't know, it isn't really hard. It's actually just really exciting and fun. Mm. I don't know, do you have any difficulties on the road? <laughs> no, Sleeping really. can become an issue. Oh, yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah. Getting up early for flights and whatever. That's probably like the one thing. Early flights, we hate. We hate doing early flights. We do them like every single time because they're cheap. So that's the one kind of downer. But apart from that, it's really fun. It makes an all, a night of all you can drink alcohol a bit difficult. The next it, yeah, we do it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we're, get, we're getting a lot better at that. We're becoming a lot more kind of, I don't know what the word is, mature. Yeah, sensible. Sensible, yeah. yeah we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Well, Jordan's originally from Byron Bay as well. And I met her, I saw one of her shows in Sydney that she was playing and I met her and I immediately fell in love with her voice. I knew it needed to be on the record. Um, so yeah, she's gonna come on the road with us and she's gonna play like back, um, backing vocals and play some other things on the live live show. So it's gonna be really good. A lot of shows. Yeah, yeah we're, we're excited to play, <laughs> to play the album live anyway, it's gonna be. Exciting. Yeah, to finally get the record out there and actually get it in people's hands to hold. And um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. And yeah, just playing lots of shows, play for play.
<laughs> it's also awesome having like people like knowing the lyrics and knowing the songs at the shows. It makes it a lot more fun for us and fun for everyone.